Hey everyone, uh, this is just a quick update on uh, the Linux uh, software that I've been working on, I do Budgie, and you can see the web page for it. And you see the news here that the Edibudgie Linux project, me, has joined the Open Invention Network. And you probably don't know what the Open Invention Network is, and that's fine. So you can go to openinventionnetwork.com if you're interested in it, but basically, um, we'll have a look here. OIN believes greater diversity of thought, perspective, and talent drives higher levels of innovation. We promote the idea that open source technologies provide a new business model which distills collective and global intelligence. And basically, by joining it, it helps support uh, their fight in patent non-aggression. And essentially what it means is, if I have any Linux patents that I come up with, um, I share it with, I share those patents with the Open Invention Network. I don't have any, but maybe someday. And on the plus side, all of the 3,400 other members, and you can see some of them kind of scrolling around down below, um, all of their Linux software patents are also available to me, but not outside of the Open Invention Network. And the, the idea is that, uh, especially in, in software, patents and intellectual property are kind of a big deal because if you end up using something that another group has patented, either willingly, knowingly, or not, uh, you know, you can be opened up to a lawsuit, to, to legal problems. And so OIN helps to limit that and, and kind of combat the idea of doing that because there are also some people out there who will purposely buy up intellectual property specifically to uh, more or less um, target people that they know are using it, even if the person or the group who owned that original intellectual property wasn't doing anything about it. And so uh, that, that's sort of the idea of, of patent aggression. So uh, it gives me a little bit of extra safety and security. And honestly, uh, what's neat about it too, from my perspective, is that um, I didn't know anything about the network actually previously, but uh, since I wrote the magazine article uh, that was just released on May 8th, Frank Casey, uh, I think is his name, who is the, um, who is the person who goes out and recruits other projects and other companies to join, emailed me, contacted me, and asked me to join it, uh, which I thought was kind of neat because, yeah, 3,400 members, that's a lot. But at the same time, and, and, and don't get me wrong, most Linux distributions, or many Linux distributions are included in this, have, have joined this. Um, at the same time, it was nice to be sort of called out and to be put in the same group with companies like this for something that I'm doing as an open source project just on the side. And, and again, you know, Linux is open source inherently anyways, but patent and IP is still an issue. And it's kind of a contentious issue, depending on what specific part of it you're talking about in the Linux community. So anyways, just kind of a um, neat little update, that's all. So uh, if anyone is interested or thinks that a project that they're involved in might be something that the Open Invention Network could, uh, that they could benefit from by joining it, you can go to openinventionnetwork.com and you can learn out a whole bunch of stuff about them. So check out like the member benefits and see what other members there are and so on. So um, yeah, that's all. Uh, just kind of an update. Thanks.